Hello, beautiful strangers, and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat, and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. Sometimes I react to something else, and if that is something that interests you, then why not subscribe? This channel is alive because of you. Today I will be reacting to a film called The Birdcage. It's from 1996, and it stars Albert Lane and Robin Williams. Robin Williams happened to be one of my all-time favorites, Missing Dearly. God rest his soul. I, I know about this film. I've heard about this film before, but I've never seen it. So, I am excited. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on and let's go. Mr. Arena, I just talked to Agador. He said she'd be down in five. Honey, please, you gotta get dressed for me now, please. No, Agador. Abuela Puerta! Help it! Oh! Ooh. Are you trying to ruin me? I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I do everybody take it easy. So I am gonna guess that this lovely drag queen has a flair for the dramatics just a bit. I've done everything I could to make myself attractive for you. You don't love me anymore, Armand. <laughs> Shh. There's a man in your life. What? I saw a bottle of white wine chilling in the refrigerator. I only drink red. Are they married or something? Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Starina. Ooh! Welcome to the birdcage. As you can see, I've just gotten back from safari. Go get the white wine out of the refrigerator, put it in an ice bucket, chill two glasses, and take the night off. Why are you talking to me like, um... You serving. Take that wig off or I'll tell Albert you're wearing it. You do that, I'm gonna tell him that you've seen somebody else while he's on the stage. Robin! No! Hey. <sighs> that man is not gay. So I have something to tell you. I'm getting married. It's a girl. Ding ding ding, I knew it. He, is not, he didn't give me the gay vibe. They're at school. It's this wonderful. Robin, slow down. Are you upset? No, he's just a bit alcoholic. You're only 20. Look, Pop, I know. I'm young, but... Oh, it's his son. <laughs> Little picture, you called my bluff. Uh, no, it was good, though. Really? Okay, okay, thank God. I was gonna be like, no, they're not gonna do him like that. They are not gonna make him be a character that I am gonna loathe. No, not my Robin. No, no, no. Tell me it's all right. It's all right. What's the young lady's name? Barbara. You can't get married, you're not even 18. She's not even 18? I'm sorry, how old is she supposed to be? This will have to wait till after the election, I can't deal with this now. Where does the young man come from, Barbie? Raw. Doesn't she know her own daughter's name? His father is in the arts. He's on the council, the Council of Cultural Arts. Really? What does the mother do? She's a housewife. Who is he? Where's your little chippy? It's Val. Val? We'll check, he's sleeping in his room if you don't believe me. Should have told me he was coming. What's wrong? I was getting married. Married? What do you mean married? You know what I mean. So okay, he was nice enough to say to his son, "I'm okay with this," but really, he's not. He's just a baby. He's too young. He'll ruin his life. I thought at least he would be happy about this. He seems like a, the type who would love a wedding. Founded the Coalition for Moral Order. This it was to express moral rather than political views. Your campaign manager is calling. He says he's got to talk to you. What? What's the matter, Kevin? Jackson's dead. What? Died in bed? A prostitute? No. A minor? Oh my god, are these just phone calls that people are getting who are in politics? Black? I don't believe this. I don't fucking believe this! So... A politician died in the bed of a black underage prostitute? I'm the vice president of the Coalition for Moral Order. My co-founder has just died in the bed of an underage black whore. Now, wait till the media gets a hold of this. Yeah, that is quite bad. Bridget! Oh, God. I could really use some candy. My baby. <laughs> Albie. Oh! What in heaven's name? Why does he not use... At least the back door. Oh, I'm just a wreck. This thing is all anybody can talk about. We can manage it. There may be a solution. What? Death? What about a wedding? A big, white wedding. It would restore your image. 
Love and optimism versus cynicism and sex. You do fussy, fussy, fussy. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Barbara's father is a senator. He's a conservative senator. He's running for re-election. Um, well, she told him that you were the cultural attaché to Greece and Albert was a housewife. Are you sure that you want to marry into this family? Gee! Do you want me to be someone else? No, 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 of course not. How do you make Albert into a housewife? I, I do not agree with this. I am sorry. If these people cannot accept who his parents are, then this is not gonna work. You, you, you're gonna have to try to... No, you should embrace what makes your parents different. Yes, I live with a man. Yes, I'm a middle-aged fag. But I know who I am, Val. Fuck the senator. I don't give a damn what he thinks. Good for you. The senator was, of course, a colleague and co-founder of the Coalition for Moral Order, along with Senator Eli Jackson. Good God, I thought it was Cameron from Modern Family. Where are you driving him? South Beach, Florida. We're redoing the apartment for tomorrow night. Oh, this is for the in-laws, right? Pop, thank you. Oh, Kevin, please, huh? let's charter a plane. No! The second we get out of the car, we'll be spotted. Who put Playboy in the bathroom? Leave it, it's what they read. Don't add, just subtract, okay? Please hurry. Let's go window shop. No, thank you, I want to go home now. I'll buy you anything you want. I'll have to change my shoes. I'll buy you a pair. I have no pads. I'll buy you sandals. Armand! What's going on? Why can't we go home? Ah! Oh! What? I hate it when you get hysteric! Don't leave me! Oh! Too much? Don't add. We've been robbed. They'll all be in place by the time you get back. Where am I going? Val's fiance is coming tonight with her parents. We thought it'd be better if you weren't here. Oh, now that must hurt him. It's nothing. It's painful. I mean, he was literally crying over his baby photos. He cares about him that much. And now he's hearing, can you leave because I'm ashamed of you? Oh, boy. The freak is leaving. You're safe. That went well. Mm. This is not because of you. It's because the girl's parents are assholes. Albert, these people are right-wing conservatives. They don't care if you're a pig. They just care if you're a fag. Stop trembling. <laughs> Hold the knife boldly and yes. strength. <laughs> oh, God, I pierced the toast. Can you imagine if you've done something your entire life, and then someone comes and says you have to do it differently? Well, yeah, I don't think you can uh, do that in five hours. I told Albert he could stay. You did what? Who will we say he is? Your uncle. My uncle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, you are asking a lot of them. Just take what they can give you. What we really need is a woman. Why don't I just ask your mother? Army Goldman. Katie Archer. You've done well. The money you gave me started this place. So she was a surrogate. So he paid her to carry his child, and then he got the child. And she, okay, okay. Good deal. Good deal. How is he? He's fine. Today, for the first time, he really needs you. I'm not exactly maternal. Oh, oh, oh my God. Don't worry about that. I'm very maternal. Excuse me. <laughs> he is being screwed over repeatedly in this film. <laughs> Did you see my mother? Is she coming? Yes, she's coming. Oh, God. It all worked out. Yeah, for everyone except for poor Aldi. Goodbye, Armand. Listen, I don't want you to go. Oh. No. Shit. What did you do to him? He go to a cemetery. Pull yourself together. Why? What a pain in the ass you are. Yeah, but he's adorable. We're partners. I'm 50 years old. There's only one place in the world I call home, and it's because you're there. He really loves him, doesn't he? The Colemans are a perfect family. They've never even been divorced, have they, Barbara? Oh, she is leading them into a wild ride. I look like my grandfather in this suit. Killed himself when he was 30. Oh. You don't talk too much. This is ridiculous. Like, I would never agree to marry someone whose family was against mine simply because of how they were and, and, and who they are. And Ugh. It's messing me up. Oh, my. They took all color out of him. No good. I'm dressed just the way you are. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just a guy. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Call me. 
Oh, oh sweetie, Perfect. honey. Oy. My husband? Extremely honored. You have a very forceful handshake, Mr. Coleman. This is painful, this is forceful, and I am not here for this. No, no, no. Over there? Yeah. All right, thanks. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. I will finish pouring. Go take care of dinner. Well, this is not going great, is it? Could you excuse us? Yes, we can do this. We can do this. I can't do this. Work with me. Something very odd is going on. Oh. Something about the father and the butler. I can't put my finger on it's it. It's nothing. But... Here I am. He came through. I'm so happy to meet you at last. <laughs> at last. I pity the woman who's too busy to stay home and take care of her man. Here, here. God, it's just so nice to meet people like you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our kind of people. It's just so odd to me, this fuss over school prayer. As if anyone would mind if their children prayed in the classroom. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> well, I have such a good feeling about you people. Oh. You know, I think homosexuality... A lot more ice for you. A lot more ice, Dad. One of the things that's weakening this country. That's what I thought until I found out Alexander the Great was a fag. Thought. Oh. Well, I'm so sorry to laugh at Miss Albert, but what is that hair do? Fuck oh my it. God. It's one night. I can live through it. Are you sure? Of course, it's very wrong to kill an abortion doctor. Many pro-lifers dead. That if you stop the doctors, you'll stop the abortions. But then what, 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 what the actual... If you're going to kill someone, kill the mothers. That'll stop them. <laughs> you moment, dear. Oh. But I know one thing about your mother. She's a very passionate woman who follows her heart, and I just love her. Spread my wings and a thousand things. Happy families and... Everyone's speaking English and no drugs and no AIDS. Easy on the wine, Mom. <laughs> what interesting China. Why, it looks like young men playing leapfrog. Uh-oh. Oh! Well, this is going great. Here we go. Some of Agador's superb soup. Ooh la la. How are you serving us? I don't know. I made it up. I made it up. That's not for you. Catherine, whatever you do, don't go upstairs. I'll call you tomorrow, Armand. Oh my god, how some people can be shameless. We're in the middle of a bunch of drag clubs. I don't know. Okay. It's okay, we got authorization. Right. Something very strange is going on. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I ruined everything. Don't be silly, no one even knows. No, you helped. And Barbara can handle that boy. She's a modern woman, tough as nails. Poor Mrs. Coleman, she cries to be call her mother. She's that vulnerable. They don't make women like that anymore. I'm home. Who is it? It's Val's mother, Mrs. Goldman. Oops. Val's mother? Mrs. Goldman? Please forgive me for being so terribly late. Sorry to take so stuck long, but Barbara was... Oh, no. Oh, this is please not explain. good. Yes, please do. Explain it to all of us. Exactly how many mothers does your son have? Just one. <sighs> This is my mother. Thank you. My father owns a nightclub downstairs. My mother is the star. What? Mm-hmm. These are my parents. This is my wife. And this is the lady who had Val. You've done a good job. Thank you. They're both men. You can't be. You can't be Jewish. No, Kevin. This is a man. What? They're gay. They own the drag club downstairs. They're two men. I feel like I'm insane. It's still me. Physically, everything has changed. Mentally, his soul and spirit are still the same. We're leaving now. <laughs> I'm in the home of a gay couple who own a drag club. I realize you want to get married, but how many lives do you have to ruin to do it? I would have really liked to have had you as my family. I hope this doesn't influence your vote. Oh, you really think he's going to vote for you? Oh, my God. Senator Kelly. Oh, no. Another television van just arrived. At some point, I'll have to leave. People will notice if I'm never seen again. Another television crew. Charge for Jim. I don't really drink. Yeah, but now it's the time to pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't the Keeley slip out with the audience at the end of the show? No, oh, they're waiting for that. They'd be recognized in two seconds. Not necessarily. Oh. Oh, yes. Please tell, please tell me that that is going to be the outcome.
I am here for this. This is the best outcome ever. Don't leave me here. I don't want to be the only girl not dancing. Here to dance, baby. Oh. Meet me in 20 minutes at the corner of El Dorado and Palm. Lady, not for a million dollars. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching Birdcage and my god, I loved it. I, I have such a thing for drag queens and, and drag kings and just this whole drag world. I love it because it's so extra, it's so over the top, it's so colorful, so fun, it's so happy, jolly. I just, I love it. I don't understand people who don't like it. There's not a single negative thing about it. It's glitter, it's glamour, it's colors, it's beauty, it's oh, so fun. The only negative thing I could say about this film is how long I resented what this boy was doing to his parents. Yes, they were his parents. How long he was trying to suppress them. But he redeemed himself in the end, and I am so grateful. I love this film. 4.5 out of 5, definitely. And if you like this video, put that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put in new videos five days a week. I'll see you in the next video.